Hi, in this video we will learn about the slope homogeneity test and we will do it in Stata. So let us see that how we can do it. And before we go ahead, I suggest that you subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon so that you continuously receive these techniques and softwares for the sake of research. Now we come to the uh, subject matter. It is the test of slope homogeneity. And uh, what we can do is we can uh, go back to the origin of it. Swami 1970 was the origin of this uh, technique and the framework was given in it. Later, Pisharan and Yamagata in 2008 improved this uh, Swami's slope homogeneity test and they formed two delta tests, a delta tilde and delta tilde adjusted. These are the formulas of these two statistics and uh, here n is the number of cross-section units, s is the Swami test statistic, k is the number of independent variables and here the null hypothesis is that that co-integration coefficients are homogeneous. If they are homogeneous, uh, the ejection of null hypothesis will uh, lead to the heterogeneous panel. Um, in addition to this, uh, these are uh, a suitable uh, couple of tests for large and small samples. So there is no serious problem of the sample size in this test. Uh, the adjustment is actually uh, the mean variance bias adjustment that we see in the subscript of this statistic. Furthermore, uh, the standard delta test requires error not to be autocorrelated. So the autocorrelation uh, in the error is not a requirement in this uh, standard delta test. So now uh, there is another version of it and that is by dropping the assumption of homoscedasticity and serial independence which was there in the version given by Pisaran and Yamagata and these two individuals in 2013 Blomquist and Westerland they gave this idea and their version of the test was consistent with the heterocadasticity and autocorrelation and that is why their version is known as um, delta HAC that stands for heteroscedasticity and autocorrelation consistent. It is a robust version and uh, this is how we denote it and this is how we denote its adjusted version where the adjustment is mean variance bias adjustment. These are the formulas of it and uh, now we uh, finally come to the command that we use in uh, Stata. This is the command XTHST. Uh, this is the keyword and then we write the dependent variable and the independent variables. This command is applicable for both balanced and unbalanced data sets. So this is another convenience for us and uh, the null hypothesis if it is rejected that is the slope heterogeneity will be there because the null hypothesis is in the favor of slope homogeneity. So if it is rejected, there will be slope heterogeneity. And that leads us to the outcome and that outcome is that we can use the heterogeneous panel estimation techniques which are mean group family models, for example, pool mean group PMG. Now we will see an empirical example of it. So in this article, which is recently published, we are going to see that how this test has been applied. And uh, let's come to the test. So in the data and source, uh, the very first uh, test that is applied for estimation is the slope homogeneity test. And these are the authors that contributed to this test. And here it is applied. As you can see that the test has been conducted. Here we can see the tests. So zooming in, uh, we have the first test and its adjusted version and the HAC version and the HAC version with the adjustment. These are the notes that you can pause the video and read and A represents the statistical significance at 1% and these are the formula of these uh, statistics and this is the value, uh, all those values of the statistics and you can see they are statistically significant at 1%. So 
So how we can get these values? Let us see. So now we are in Stata and we have a certain data set, which is the uh, data set used for uh, this test. And now the first thing that we should do is to see if it is installed or not, this command. And we are going to uh, run this uh, install uh, command, ssc install, xt hst, homogeneous slope test hst. So when I click enter, it is installing, as you can see the pro progress circle was there, and it says that there, uh, it is already up to date. There is no need for any update in it. Now we run the command with the given data that we have. This is the command, the keyword. Then we have the first variable, which is the dependent variable. And then it's lag version because of the dynamic specification we are using. And then we have the first independent variable, the second independent variable, and the third independent variable. We just need to click enter and we will get the results. This is the uh, slow heterogeneity test given by these two individuals, Pesharan and Yamagata 2008 in the Journal of Econometrics. So you can see both of them are statistically significant. It means that we are facing a situation where the slope coefficients are heterogeneous because this hypothesis, that is the null hypothesis has been rejected and we are facing the heterogeneity in the slope parameters. Now we come to the HAC version of the test. For that, we just need to reproduce the command and at the end of that, put a comma and then write HAC without any space. That is heteroscedasticity adjusted and autocorrelation adjusted version. That is heteroscedasticity autocorrelation consistent version. So now uh, we uh, click enter and we get the results of the Blomquist and Westerland 2013 version of the Swami test for slope homogeneity and it was in the economic letters. Uh, the, uh, the null hypothesis it is the same but this time we have uh, the uh, improved version which is consistent with the heteroscedasticity and autocorrelation. So in this case, again, the statistical significance is at 1%, signifying that there is slow heterogeneity in the given data. So now we are going to accept this situation, that is the situation of slow heterogeneity. And now we can apply heterogeneous panel estimation techniques, which is usually there, in the form of mean group family, old mean group, or CSARDL. That we have done in our uh, one of the videos on cross-sectionally augmented ARDN. You can watch that as well and you can subscribe if you haven't and get more knowledge regarding these techniques and how we can do it in Stata and other softwares. Thank you.